We're here at the 2015 Summer Spectacular and uh, I've got some news that's hot off the press and that is that one of America's leading cutting horse stallions is heading to Australia. Highbrow CD is what we're talking about. He's uh, the 2007 Judy Champion. He's won over half a million dollars in his progeny. He have won just over three million dollars to date. So I thought, well, whilst we're here in Fort Worth, Texas, I was able to track down Chris Tippett, who's the owner of Highbrow CD, and ask him what's going on and uh, when, when the stadium arrives in Australia. Chris, when, uh, when does he get there? He should get there around August 24th. I'm doing some coming right now in the US around August 6th. We'll be in quarantine in New Zealand for about two weeks. And we'll be going to be in Australia on the 24th of August to be there for September 1st for the breeding season to kick off. Right, is he going to be just there for the breeding season or is he there for that entire year? No, sir, he'll be there uh, through December. 21st, I believe, he'll fly back and be ready for our breeding season here in the States. And whereabouts will he be located uh, in Australia? He'll be at uh, Seven Creeks Veterinary Clinic. He is Dr. Stacy McGregor's facility. Um, she's helped us a lot in the past with frozen semen, which we've used over there for the past three to four years, I guess. Um, had good success with that, and she encouraged us along with uh, Billy Buckridge to send him over there so that we could breed mares um, that were older that couldn't conceive on frozen semen and some younger mares that um, just monetarily it wasn't feasible to get the frozen seed to them. So, yeah, creating new markets. Well, yeah, it's sort of groundbreaking stuff. Would this be the first standing uh, or cutting horse standing that's physically gone to Australia? Uh, no, sir. Uh, Pepto started show has been back and forth. He shuttled um, two doctors, Stacy McGregor's facility, um, and Winter's going to be the first futurity champion, Super Snakes champion, that has ever been to Australia. Right, so Wendell is the barn name for, yes, sir, uh, I'm for sorry. Highbrow CD. Yes, sir. Uh, so his doctor, Stacey McGregor, she's located uh, whereabouts, you know? In Victoria. Yeah, okay, she's down there. So what's the the breeding fee going to be for him? He's going to be 5000 Australian. Because he's 5000 US over here, isn't he? Correct. But um, we just felt like we, we do 5000 Australian, um, which exchange rate is a little less for us. Um, what we'll be receiving, but felt like it was fair and people would be willing to pay down in Australia. Yeah, I mean, th yeah, that's right. The currency will have a lot to do with it. Uh, so, will he be doing live coverage or just be uh, semen collection only? Semen collection only. And um, he ships really well. Um, Stacy McGregor's had really good success with his frozen semen there. Um, somewhere around 92% is the last numbers we had. So, those numbers uh, should be represented well in the fresh semen that's uh, shipped out to the so. Right, well it probably helps uh, Australia because we, being such a large country, that we probably don't have a lot of clinics that have uh, access to frozen semen, is that correct? That's correct. It's my understanding there's uh, only a handful of veterinary uh, clinics that actually can perform the uh, frozen semen insemination. So, I think it's going to just open the market up for mares that, like I said, older mares that couldn't conceive on frozen semen, and even some of the younger mares that um, it just wasn't feasible for them to ship them to these facilities. Yeah, and what uh, is he going to travel around at all? People are able to see him, or they can go to, to Dr. McGregor's and go see him there physically? Yes, we're, um, my wife and I, we're going to go to September 6th. Dr. McGregor's were going to be there um, during that week and have an open house presentation um, of Wendell and, and just have a meet and greet social. This is also going to be coming to the California Futura, which will be um, a one of the days of the famous campaign for September. Um, so he'll be there sometimes during that last weekend. Um, we'll bring him out and actually have a couple of uh, two-year-old fillies that will be there as well, um, just to exhibit them so people can see what this project looks like. Uh, well, that's fantastic, Chris. Well, thanks for joining us, and uh, it's really great to see that you've invested the, the time and money for this great horse that Austin Shepherd trained. And 
and talk about a horse that puts a cow in a horse, uh, he's phenomenal. So good luck and have a safe trip and I uh, hope you enjoy Australia. Uh, we're looking forward to it, mate. <laughs> good.